All right, we're all set? Yeah, yeah, you're good. Je m'appelle W. Eric Martin, uh, avec Board Game Geek News. Uh, I'm here with Marie Eve Lupien from Fox Mine. And she. Should I start her? I, I'm like, I realize I'm like. I'm like I was kind of retarded. I was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, je m'appelle W. Eric Martin, avec Board Game Geek News. I'm here with Marie Eve Lupien from Fox Mine Canada, showing off the very first copy of String Ra Railway from Fox Mine. <laughs> And perhaps you can give us a brief overview of the game and perhaps uh, show, give comparisons to the original edition in case any changes have been made. Sure, actually the, the only change that has been made in the design of the cards and uh, the graphic design of the box. Obviously the, the box, the original box is, is even smaller but like it fits very, it's like jammed into the box. Right. So we made more hair here just so the string <laughs> feel better. <laughs> But still, it fits like all well, so no like losing space and yeah. stuff. Uh, so very portable. And um, yeah, these are the, the major changes. Uh, we have little wooden token instead of the little translucent uh, uh, plastic thing we were okay. putting on the, the station to say we own them. Okay. And uh, we have point tokens instead of the scoring track. Okay. All and right. what about the gameplay itself? All right. Well, actually, your goal is to get the most profitable railroad, railroad by placing some cards into play and connect them with your strings. Mm -hmm. It's a very short game. Well, like 20, 30 minutes as you, you only play like five rounds mm -hmm. because you have five strings. Mm -hmm. You can play up to, to five players. If you're five players, you will play just for, with uh, four strings though. Mm -hmm. But still, it's pretty sh quick and, uh, and uh, sweet. You have one long string and four small strings. And you will be, be placing them to connect the, the cards you will draw. Because each turn, you're drawing one card mm -hmm. and placing into play. Mm -hmm. And you're connecting this card well, from a station you, uh, you have been through already. Mm -hmm and getting some points from those new stations. The more station they are into play, because all players are playing station, the more points you can get, because actually you can connect those two at your next turn. So I can go like, like this, for, for example. So I will get some other points. Mm -hmm. uh, the cards uh, are different, not everyone, but there are some uh, some uh, uh, different action you can make with the cards. Not action, like powers. Different powers uh, of the cards. You have like the basic one where you actually just get the points written on them. You always have to look also to the limit of players that can enter that station. Very important. And you so you, can, you can't run over someone else's track with your string, but you can enter it to the same station as you're doing this? Actually, you can like put your string as you wish. If you're crossing a string though, let's say purple okay. as well. I'm going to put the strings as I wish. <laughs> if I'm crossing purple, this is a very stupid move, but for example, if I do this, I will pay one point because I'm crossing a, str a string. Same thing with the river and the mountain. And uh, actually, I would not do this. I would do something like that, so I'm not crossing it, right? And setting up obstacles for the future. You can actually cross strings in the, the rail, uh, in the station. Okay. This is not a good move because this is a terminal, so you need to end your string on it, so I cannot pass through it. There you go. But actually, this one is a one limit player, so n there is no oh. two strings that can enter it. Our examples are bogus. But in, and we get the general sense of the game. And everything. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will not explain all the cards, but you can have uh, the rules probably online. So you can even look at, uh, take a peek already uh, at uh, all the powers of the cards. So you can like learn how to play in uh, two minutes. The, the rules are very short. So that's pretty much it. I made the, this, this design because I have a rectangle table. But normally when you're like three players, you're playing in a triangle four in a square, 
and you can maneuver and these however you wish. Five pentagon, yes, yes, actually. And why there is a mountain? You will say, well, because there is a viewpoint, and the viewpoint will get more points if you put it in the mountain, and less if you put it outside. But remember, you're crossing a mountain. You will cross a string. You will lose one. But maybe afterward you want to build your own little network out there and so it's like less accessible for the others. Mm -hmm. And it all depends on what comes up from the deck and yeah, what everyone else does too. luck involved by dra drawing some station. I, maybe you will have no luck and take a, all, always the little points, but still you can connect to all the other cards. So, I mean, it, you just need to think a bit and, and see what, what points you can get from the others, you know? Thank you very much for the overview. You're Good luck welcome. with the game.